Hello there, this is Mike from Windows 7 Forums. I'm just here to notify you about a problem that we've identified with Internet Explorer 6 when browsing Windows7Forums.com. We have known about this problem for some time. Several weeks ago, we upgraded our forum software to vBulletin version 4.0. And ever since then, we have been having problems with our users with compatibility in regards to Internet Explorer 6. In the past, to make the site usable for Internet Explorer 6 users, we had performed several hacks on our site to make certain types of images render properly in the Internet Explorer 6 web browser. Unfortunately, in the world of the Internet, and computing in general, Internet Explorer 6 is an old and outdated technology. It was released in 2004 and since then thousands of security vulnerabilities have been fixed and created in both Internet Explorer 7 and Internet Explorer 8. Furthermore, you will never get the best experience possible when using Windows 7 forums while using Internet Explorer 6. Times simply have changed. I urge you, as a member of our site, to go ahead and check out Internet Explorer 8, which is the latest Internet Explorer browser, as well as Mozilla Firefox. Both browsers are equally sufficient. Uh, they both provide different levels of service, and really, um, you know, they're both competitors and they work well. Um, so uh, that's a fair assessment of both browsers, but you need to be using the latest web browser when browsing the web, irregardless of whether or not you're an Internet uh, Explorer wizard, uh, computer wizard, whether or not you use Windows 7 forums, we really don't care. But to know that so many people are still on Internet Explorer 6 is just mind-boggling. The majority of Internet users are still on Internet Explorer 6, and this is just unacceptable. I mean, so much has changed since 2004 that you can't expect web pages to render properly any longer in Internet Explorer 6. For years, we made accommodations to try to make the website usable for Internet Explorer 6 users, and those times are just over. I mean, we've encountered the problem over and over again and we've made many changes to try to make the site at least viewable in 6 and it certainly is and you can certainly use the basic functions of the site in Internet Explorer 6 but you'll never get the full effect and the full experience that we want you to have when you use Internet Explorer 6 so what you should really do is go to Microsoft.com uh, and download Internet Explorer 8 or the latest version of Internet Explorer and or go to Mozilla uh, getfirefox.com and download the latest version of Firefox. In this brief tutorial I will show you how to upgrade in Windows XP to the latest version of Internet Explorer. At this time that version is currently Internet Explorer 8. In the future it will be Internet Explorer 9. What we do is we launch our web browser in Windows XP which is currently Internet Explorer 6 and we type in our, in our search engine of choice Internet Explorer. We come to the Microsoft website which allows for the Internet Explorer download which is Microsoft.com. We can see that it's an official website and we can see that we can download the latest version of Internet Explorer. What we do from here is very simple. We simply click on the download link and proceed to upgrade to Internet Explorer 8. We don't want Internet Explorer 8 with MSN because we simply don't need it. We download Internet Explorer 8 here. We click on Run. The download will progress. We click on Run again. And the files will extract. You can choose to help to improve Internet Explorer or you can choose not to help improve it. Either way, it doesn't matter. We agree to the end user license agreement. We accept. We agree to install updates to Internet Explorer. And we download. The process will take a very short period of time. And when it is done, you will in fact be updated to Internet Explorer 8. 
The installation will typically take place without a hitch. You'll receive a notice that a restart is required and we'll go through that phase now. It's important to state that the reason why we're upgrading to Internet Explorer 8 is not because you can use Windows7Forms.com better with Internet Explorer 8, although that definitely is one good reason to upgrade, but the primary reason is because thousands of security vulnerabilities have been repaired uh, from Internet Explorer 7 to Internet Explorer 8. What you need to realize here is that it is very simple to install this software and really it comes down to the fact that Windows Vista shipped with Internet Explorer 7 and subsequently Windows 7 shipped with Internet Explorer 8. The only difference between these three browsers is that they're coded better. Internet Explorer 8 has better programming. It's easier to use. There's a compatibility mode for sites that it doesn't work with. Here we go, setting up. We just hit next. We can turn suggested sites on. We can use express settings and worrying about and worry about customizing those settings later. And we're right here, right where we belong. And let's check out what Windows 7 Forms looks like now. It looks absolutely great. We have everything here scripts are rendering properly we're able to see everything on the screen if we register for an account we don't have any problems the transparency is working properly and the website is generally working a lot better than it normally would under Internet Explorer 6 this example can be shown many times in many different places Upgrading to Mozilla Firefox is equally simple and easy. We launch Internet Explorer and we go to the website getfirefox.com. This is an official Mozilla website. We click on the Firefox logo. We hit run under Internet Explorer. We wait for the product to download. And installing Firefox does have its benefits. The one disadvantage of Firefox has always been that you can't use Microsoft ActiveX. And ActiveX technology is, is used primarily on a lot of ASP and Microsoft powered websites. It's not generally a, a technology that's used widely anymore, but it still is uh, very much in use on a lot of relevant Microsoft websites. Firefox does have its advantages and it does have some disadvantages but for the most part Firefox is an excellent web browser and an excellent alternative to Internet Explorer. In many cases it claims to provide better security than Internet Explorer and really all you have to do is hit next, standard installation, use Firefox as my default web browser you can turn that on or off very easily and we hit install and we can launch Firefox now. And we can choose to import our bookmarks, history, and passwords from Internet Explorer. But why even do that? We're running from a clean install anyway. And of course we get the notice that it's not the default browser. The browser wars continue even to this day. I remember back in the day when Netscape was still uh, popular. And we can see here that Firefox will also pull up Windows 7 forums. And surprise, surprise, we have some rounded edges on our site now because Firefox actually supports rounded edges and a little bit more uh, different uh, HTML standard than IE does, but it's pretty much the same thing. Some claim it loads a little bit faster. I would say in Windows XP it definitely does. In, IE, uh, in Windows 7 I would say that the performance difference is negligible but ultimately, um, you're able to use Firefox. It's a great uh, uh, web browser. And if you have both, you have nothing to lose. But the important part is you keep both of them up to date and you don't use Internet Explorer 6, which is now six years old, ironically. 
So please update your web browsers, keep them up to date, and stay secure. Keep your computer free of malware, viruses, trojans, and other threats.